Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rosalba, I'm, I'm a new illustrator and writer of children's books. Previously, I had been working on this painting here, which is part of my fourth, one of the pages of my fourth book. And with uh, the drawings and sketches, transferring the drawings and painting up to where I am now, it has taken me probably about 20 hours, perhaps longer. Uh, so I'm just showing you the process of how long it takes me to complete two uh, pages or paintings for two pages uh, of a book, my children's picture book. So I'm going to start painting now. And um, so first I'm going to be putting some water all over my little creatures here. This is what I'm going to be working on today. So I'll, I'm going to be doing wet on wet today. So I'll just do, I'll start with the face first because otherwise it will just get dry. And I'm going to put perhaps a light, a light wash, very, very light because um, this is just going to be part of the um, light coming through from underneath. It's going to be very a very faint, very faint wash of this yellow. I think it's lemon yellow I'm using all over the face just to so that some some light comes through from underneath when I apply much darker colors on top so now i'm going with a slightly darker again wet on wet oops went a little over there over the line okay so i'm going to carry on with this work and uh, I'll see you later to show you where I am. Okay, see you soon. Right, it's been about an hour and 40 or perhaps an hour and 50 minutes. And um, this is what I have done so far. I have actually moved the watercolour paper with the frame I have it on onto my lap because otherwise I just tend to get a shoulder ache or a pain at the back of my neck so this is the position that I'm most comfortable with so I managed to do more work on the raccoon um, I put more details on the face on the ears some kind of shading here to just to show more, um, you know, a more three-dimensional um, sort of um, object, you know. Otherwise, it just looks very flat. And thank goodness I've managed to achieve that through a year of painting now. And I have also worked on the hand, which I hadn't worked on before. And the same thing, I have defined more. Uh, certain areas again to to make it more three-dimensional uh, then I have um, worked on the animals here as well just again adding more and more washes to give it more dimensions again uh, work more around the eyes 
just in general, it's just more and more um, shading really. A little, I started here, I worked around the lion's mane and um, here is more or less where, where I am at at the moment but before I show you uh, the little creature here and the raccoon and they hadn't been painted at all I had just started putting a wash of a, a light yellow color here and I said because uh, I wanted the, the light to come through the other colors I was going to add later on so I did that I began to work on the face, made some kind of rosy cheeks at the moment and a bit more shading so that was drying which is why I went on to paint on the to this other side of the paper here but now that this is drying I will probably go back here to add more detail and um, and anyway, I'll show you in a while again, but this is what I've done so far. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> right, hello, welcome back. <laughs> right, I've been painting for just over an hour. And um, I'll show you, if you come closer, I'll show you what I have done. So... What I have done is again work on a little bit more on this creature. You can see deeper colors with deeper shade here and around the face again. Um, I just added a little more uh, sort of a darker shade there as well. And, and then worked a lot on these um, on the animals here again I added more rosy cheeks I worked around the the mouth around the teeth and just added more detail to the lion the pterodactyl the giraffe and um, and also to the animals in this section I did the same thing and also um, I worked on the, a wash around these bubbles which is showing the thinking of the, the two creatures so a wash I wasn't quite sure whether to paint it blue to represent the sky or or you know or, or what so in the end I decided on this kind of washes which is to keep it in the same kind of mood as the um, the, the, the previous um, painting prior to this which hopefully I will show you at some point perhaps uh, the real painting or uh, the page in the actual book but it's like a it's a setting with a lot of mood, a mood, sort of, um, anyway, I'll tell you more about it at some point. And then I came over here and I definitely worked more on the little creature. You can probably see more details on the face and just around and on the raccoon as well. So, um... I did that in about another hour and uh, I have been working a bit slow today <laughs> sometimes I work for you know a lot of hours in the day and sometimes I don't and today is one of those um, the, the, the light is getting poor now it's a bit of a you know a, it's a day which uh, it's it's not um, very helpful because the sunlight is is very poor. So it's just to show you how you know I work. Uh, some um, illustrators might work faster, some perhaps slower, but this is the way I work, and I just wanted to share it with you today. So thank you so much for watching, and I will continue tomorrow. Okay. 
Um, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye.